Are you ready? Not going. Sangeeta, did you hear that? It's her life. Thanks, Mother. Will you shut the door? Back to the office. What shall I say to Dr. Russell? She's a therapist. She'll understand. Yes, but you're the one with the... Uh... She's dressed as a police officer in all leather. I've got this PVC uh, vest on, and we're simulating all these grotesque um, sex sounds. Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're back, we're back from Cannes and we're in our home city, London, and we're here at the London Indian Film Festival for the world premiere of a film called The Effects of Lying. It's a great comedy about a dysfunctional Asian family. We'll be talking to the talent, and there's a lot of it. I'm with Ace Butty, who's the lead character in The Effects of Lying. Ace, tell us a little bit about the character, what his name is, what the family setup is in this film. Uh, my name, the character I play in The Effects of Lying is called Naveen and he's basically a, a very decent moral human being who's trying to hold the family together. But within a day he learns three quite terrible secrets, would you say? That sort Not of, all of them are terrible. Not but... terrible, no, but they smash the family apart. <gasps> and then he, he tries to hold the family together. Naveen, how... How easy or difficult was it to get into that type of character? Do you know what I found tonight watching it again? Was I, I remembered that I think the thing about Naveen is he's trying to hold it all together. Yeah. That's his main thing. He's trying to hold everything together, trying to be calm about it, trying to work his way through, trying to be pragmatic about stuff. Yeah. But the more pragmatic he tries to be, the worse the situation yeah. gets. Yeah. How much of the Asian thing were you aware of at the beginning? I, it no. wasn't a big thing for yeah. me. I, I try not to... I, listen, I grew up in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. So I had people coming at me with bats. Yeah. And I had things posted through the letterbox. The police harassed the hell out of me. You know, it's just the way yeah. it was. Right. It's not a complaint. No. Yeah. It's just part of our history. It yeah. really isn't a complaint. Yeah. So I try not to ever use that. Right. Ever. Right. Unless it's for a particular part yeah, of, of a particular yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. What I just think was it was a great story yeah, yeah. and if whoever watches it, because that's the great thing, it's, it's like a great song. Mm. It cuts through all the crap. Yeah, exactly. It cuts through all the crap. I've been in dramas where, yeah, there's been a big Asian cast, yeah. but nothing makes me happier than right. someone stops me in the street yeah. and they're white and they love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a British story. Yeah, what we've exactly. done is a British story. Yeah, and I yeah. think it's really important we keep saying that because the more stories that are there and the more like companies like IGVX yeah. take us on board, exactly. you know, it is, I don't want to pretend that there's not enough of us no. and not enough stories because no. there isn't. No. You know, no. we're the biggest immigrant group in the country yeah. and sometimes we're invisible. That's not a complaint. For me, it's a challenge. Yeah. And I'll keep trying to make stories yeah. and I'll keep trying to act as well as I can. Right. You know, and I'd say that to any young Asian, white working class. Yeah. Black, just yeah, act exactly. as well as you can, can yeah. tell your stories. Tell your story. yeah. Hi everyone, I'm with Navin Chowdhury, who has a pivotal part in the effects of lying. Navin, how are you doing? Welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. Hello, how, how are you? you? Doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. So, Navin, tell us a little bit about your character in the film. So, I play Harvinder, who is the brother of Ace Batty's character, and he is um, a very carefree selfish, single-minded, self-centered spirit. That's the energy he brings to this piece. Self-centered, rude, obsessive. Obsessive? Says the man with 15 dustbins. Before the environment! Oh, stop! He's basically the opposite. His qualities and his energies are in total opposition of Naveen played by Ace. And that's what you know, that, that, that's the contribution he makes to the film where you see two very different characters, two very different vibes on the world and life and how that ultimately, how they collide. Did you know the, the people, in, like the talent that was involved in this project? Even though me and Ace, we, we, we pretty much started in this business at the same time. We never worked together. We actually had only met very briefly once. So I think we're the only two brown actors of our generation that have never worked together. Oh my God, wow. Um, but I'd like to work. I've known Layla for 20 odd years. We, we've worked together 
we did a short film and when she used to do interviews, she interviewed me once, but no one imagined 20 odd years later, we'd be doing a film like this in Ealing, where she's dressed as a police officer in all leather. I've got this PVC uh, vest on and we're simulating all these grotesque um, sex sounds. How did you come to write a South Asian story? I mean, it's about a family that happens to be South Asian. How did you write such a story? Okay, well, I... But you're not South Asian, are you? I'm not South Asian, but my, but my wife is South Asian. My wife's a British Asian. Uh, she comes from Coventry. So uh, we live in Birmingham. There's a large kind of uh, British Asian kind of community yeah, yeah. that's that you know for the last 20 odd years I've been part of right. and, and I've been you know welcomed so kind of warmly right. by um, so I, I do feel kind of comfortable in that in that right, environment right, I, right. I, I, you know I mean I think what I found is that the stories that, that it is bizarre that the stories aren't told so what, what was the trigger for you to put this all together is it based on a kind of real story or can no. you say or what, what you it's, not based, it's not based no i think what it is is it's that you know we've all got we've all got elements of this i guess in our family yeah. so we've got you know elderly relatives who've got alzheimer's that's a kind of classic thing yeah. that people are dealing with yeah who, who have this kind of confused relationship with the world yeah. and the starting point was kind of that that this that this secret that has been kept inside for decades mm. breaks out because this the, the father spills the beans. Yeah, so much oh, for yeah. joining us. Very Take lovely. care, all Thank the best. You. How was it shooting a film in 12 days? It was the most wonderful experience actually because often you're on big things and there's so much tension and yeah. stuff like that. But you know, the camaraderie you see on screen, you know, some of us know each other we have worked together yeah, cool. and there's a lot of love and affection and a warmth and we all really care about our craft so you know put all that together yeah. you can do it in 12 days yeah, yeah, because yeah. everyone is rooting and wanting to be there and yeah, wanting to do it absolutely. so it really was a really special experience and uh, what would you say about the nani character your you know what the kind of grandmother character you play what sort of person do you think she is I think that Nani had her own backstory, which I don't want to give away no, no, either. No, but, um, you know, she's not just a grandma yeah. in that sort of, um, you know, normally you get these grandmas and they don't have a depth. Yeah. And every grandma I know is oh, deeply, yeah, yeah. has Indeed. depth, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so it's wonderful. Although she's not, her story is not very, um, in, you know, front-footed, you can see it and you can see how her dreams and her desires, you know, um, weren't fulfilled. Yeah. So I don't want to give away too much, but, you know. I think there's a lot more. There could be another film in Nani, I think. Do you but... know what? It's so interesting because when I read the script, I thought, this is the kind of film that there are so many strands that every single strand could be another feature film. Thank you so much. Thank you very that much indeed. Wonderful. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about the character you played. I have found him very relatable because he's living in a home and uh, just tell us a little bit about the character. Yeah, uh, the, 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 he is uh, uh, my character Suresh. Um, uh, he lives in a home, he's lost his wife. But the thing is that, you know, as, as you can tell, the effects of lying. We're all living a lie. And I think he himself and also he's demented, hence he lives in a home. He wants to tell a tale that he didn't tell his children for all these years. And I think a lot of people don't want to talk about certain things in their lives. They don't say, and actually film, film like this uh, actually says it. When they're watching it, I think it's on ITVX as well, we soon. Yeah, yeah, sure. They'll go, oh my God, oh yes I know, auntie said that, Aunt, uh, that uh, uncle said that. James Hay, the writer, sent me the script and I was so um, thrilled to read a story about a British Asian family that had nothing to do um, with, it, with their ethnicity and it was just a universal story about family and love and loss and I just found it so thrilling and refreshing to read that 
I just thought I really want to make the story. It's an amazing array of talent. I mean, how does that feel? like as a d young director to have that level of talent in a film. It's about picking the right material, I think, as a director. You know, you, you, I read something that I felt a lot for, especially for uh, Naveen's character, who's played brilliantly by Ace Batty. I really felt for that character and that character's journey, and it's a hopeful journey of redemption. And I thought, you know, if I'm feeling this, audiences will feel that, and that's all you can go off. And luckily, you know, I, I had a TV directing background and I talked to Ace and I said, you know, this is how we're going to approach it, this is how we're going to do it. And, you know, there were some question marks, but thankfully I convinced him and the rest of the cast to, to go on the journey with us. What touched you about the effects of lying when you saw it as a script? I think just the fact is like, it's very funny, it's a very normal but crazy family story. Um, and I think just when we started showing it to the actors and their response to it made me realise that, you know, this is a story that needs to be told and, and yeah, pleased that we were able to do that. That's a wonderful cast, you know. It's great, an amazing cast. A great, great script, you know, it's fast moving, a lot of good humour and it could be a family anywhere on this planet. Anywhere on this planet. And I think anyone will actually empathise and sympathise and will understand and absorb all this. They're gonna have to deal real grown-up consequences. Yeah. My dad. Fuck it in. Sometimes I wonder if this is really it, the game of life.